face, questo naturalmente mi fa estremo piacere, vi ringrazio per essere venuti qui, non c'è traffico in tangenziale, quindi possiamo fare tutto con calma e venerdì sera è stato un pomeriggio interessante, però ho veramente l'onore e il piacere di chiedere a una persona che per noi è molto importante, che rappresenta la nostra azienda e che ha avuto uh, il desiderio di partecipare a una giornata intensa a Milano facendo mille annunci e raccontando la strategia della nostra azienda, però vi a fare qui con noi, in un'occasione così importante come quella del lancio dell'anno, eh, in termini di lavoro insieme, per questo anno fiscale che spero eh, dia soddisfazione a tutti e quindi senza perdere altro tempo chiedo a Steve Ball di raggiungervi qui sul palco. Steve. That's probably not something that we can control. 
What we can control is the fact that an increasingly important part of the value added in our economy is going to come from our industry. The world economy has been growing partly because of borrowing. That's going to go away. All of the growth in the economy now is going to come from productivity and innovation. And the work we all do together, the work we do together, is really the IT is the number one driver of productivity and innovation, not just in our own industry, but in every industry. This week, I spent time with people in the oil business here in, in Italy and in, in Holland. The digital oil field is the new frontier of, of innovation in that business. We spent time, I spent time with a number of people running e-commerce businesses in France. It's the frontier of startups in retail and customer service. It doesn't matter what industry, public administration, e-government is being renewed. The, the key to productivity and innovation growth in many industries comes out of our industry. And our industry will best serve that demand by your firms and our firm working together. Here uh, in Italy, there are about 89,000 people working in our partners. And collectively, you're generating about 9.4 billion euros worth of business. There'll be new companies created, new opportunities, new jobs. But we have to stay together, work together, evolve with changes in technology, and find new ways to complement each other and to add value. And if we do that, while we're executing very well, very predictably, you need us to be more predictable for you. We need you to be more predictable for us. But that involves having a, a very rich and healthy dialogue as we move forward. Sorry, so you take a picture just as I click. We'll put the PowerPoints up on the website if you like. We think the backbone of what we do in our part of the partnership is to invest in core R&D that drives new products and new services. Our company in the next 12 months alone will spend about $9.5 billion in R&D. That's more money than any other company in the world. Uh, in most of the businesses that we're in, we spend more than our competition. In some businesses like Search, our competition is still spending more than we do. Uh, what I try to show you here is a little bit of a sense of our big uh, investments and opportunities. Windows. Windows Mobile. We're investing not just in what I call Microsoft Office, but the general proposition of how to make, help people communicate and be more productive. SharePoint, Exchange, Windows Live. Servers and management. We all know the world's being revolutionized by virtualization. How do we help drive that phenomenon, take cost out, make data centers more effective? Enterprise infrastructure. And what I'm really talking about here is the, the tools and platforms and databases that really power the most important applications in the world. This is an area where we've grown a good business. And yet we've got some competitors, particularly Oracle and IBM, who still have bigger businesses. Wonderful opportunities ahead for you and for us.